Peggy six. everyone how you doing hope you uh, had a good weekend uh yeah uh we uh, what played this for a few hours yesterday star fox ventures unfortunately if you were watching the stream uh i don't know what happened with my internet yesterday but it completely cut out um so i ended the stream we're going to be continuing on today for a few hours or so let's try and make a decent dent into the game uh i'm i'm quite enjoying it so far hey jack welcome to the stream hope you're doing well I'm trying to forget, uh, trying to forget, trying to remember what I did yesterday. Uh, I think I was going to the shop. I needed to find a lantern, if I remember correctly. Uh, yeah, we got the rocket boost upgrade before we ended the stream. Welcome, Chloe. Uh... That, oh, that was it. Right, so I needed to buy a lantern, but the scarabs were quite expensive. So I think we need 20 scarabs to buy the lantern, then we can go back down into the well. How is everyone doing today? So, I mean, most of the time, the scarabs are, like, hiding in these. Well, maybe not this time, but generally they are. Uh, yeah. You had Wi-Fi, or... I, I definitely had internet issues yesterday. I was sat here talking to myself, not realising that the stream had finished. I don't know what had happened, but it's, it's all good. Well, I was hoping to find some scarabs. Hey, Roy, how you doing? Finally. 20, cool. So hopefully I can buy the lantern and then go and do whatever I need to in the world. Cool, uh, Roy. I'm very happy for you. Oh, this guy cracks me up. He sounds awful. <laughs> but we don't need to talk to him. It's, it's fine. Uh, right, this was the the lantern. Right, so... If you guys were watching yesterday, you might know that you can actually barter and pay less than what he is asking. So we're going to try that again. Leon Scott Kennedy, welcome. How you doing? How's things? Blood Rain on Xbox. How, how many games, Roy, do you own at the minute? Like, retro games. Okay, I'll sell it to you. Okay. Wasn't too bad. 17. If you find yourself in dark caves, open the lantern to release a firefly. The path will become clear. I was going to say, don't forget, the lantern's useful without fireflies. So where do I get a firefly from? Okay, 
I mean, what I could probably do, right, is just spend a bit of time just, um, you know, buying scarabs, coming back, buying every map, buying every item. I'm not going to do that. That might take a bit of time. You got over 300 games. Nice. One day I, I will have to do a video of my sort of collection. Because I must have a, a decent amount of games, I would say. <sighs> uh, what are we looking at? No, we don't want to quit. It's one of these guys has like a... Oh, there we go. So we got... Oh, we got the Baphom... Uh, that that was what I bought last stream. So basically, they're like a, a version of... Uh, fairies from Ocarina of Time. Or Zelda in general. Hey, Mr. Leon, welcome. How's your day going? I will go down, right? I don't have fireflies... I'm going. I'm going by the assumption that I'm going to find fireflies down there. If I don't, well, I'm sure, this is where I need to go. Hi, Fox. It's Slippy. Seems like you need some help. Yes, yeah, so you may need to use your firefight lantern. I was quite sure I'd search everywhere down there, though. Maybe not. Uh, what? Oh, Roy, I wanted to use this. I wanted to use my Waybird. It's kind of funny, you can uh, see through the uh, the A button. I wanted to use my Waper, but for some reason my adapter wasn't working, so Xbox pad it is. Ah, a lantern to light your way! Good! Yes, very good. Good, good, excellent. Uh, so we got a lantern somewhere. Okay. <laughs> like I said, I can use the lantern down there. I need fireflies. And I've got no idea where I'm going to find them. Hey, Sean, welcome. How you doing? I, I've heard of Blood Rain, um, Roy, but uh, I don't think I've ever really played it. Um, I, to, to be honest, I haven't actually tried to hook up the, uh, the game... Well, I've hooked it up to my PC. I didn't really try getting it working because, at the end of the day, my pad's working fine. It's no biggie using the next box one. It's kind of funny, though, because the X... Uh, sorry, the GameCube pad is definitely like one of the only pads that I still comfortable using. They still feel, you know, they're decent still. Yeah, for the authentic experience, yeah. 
And I might have another go before the next stream. I just, honestly, didn't have the time to uh, mess around trying. But if I do more GameCube games in the future, then I will look at... I, I know it works because I've done it before in the past. Um, if I do any more GameCube games, it's probably worth setting up, isn't it? Hmm. Okay, well, there is no fireflies down there. Where would you normally find fire flowers? Maybe I can buy some. <laughs> Hope so. <laughs> Sumic, yeah, I've started a bit earlier today because I'm not working. It's bank holiday. So um, I've started half hour early to try and get a bit more in. Hey, Benji, welcome. How you doing? Hey, Sunrise. Yeah, Sunrise, I did mention to Leon. I think you had gone by the, uh, the time I replied back to you. Right, so Fireflies. Come to me. These are these are not fireflies. There we go. <laughs> it's a shame you can't do like in Link's Awakening, pick them up. I'm not advocating theft or anything like that, but you know, it was quite cool to just pick a, a weapon up and just like, yeah, c can we just get out of here without paying? So we need to find more scarabs. <laughs> yeah, it's um, yeah, the voices are weird. Don't get me wrong, right? Rare was always well known for their their off the beat voices. Like you look at, I don't know, Conker's Bad Third Day. Some of the voices in that game, they, they suit the game, don't get me wrong. But they were a bit weird. You try and steal all the time in Zelda games. Well, that, that's the thing. I, I wouldn't necessarily do something like that in real life. But it's a video game, you know? What are the uh, repercussions? You're not going to get arrested. <laughs> Although that would be pretty funny. Hey there, I don't know. How you doing? <laughs> We yeah we're we're in the the scarab hunt. We need scarabs, like six more of them. Yeah, we got this path down here too, which I'm pretty sure I might need another upgrade for. So, uh... Even the birds have weird, weird like, laugh voices. I don't believe that. Let's try that again. Yeah, I lost it.
That is true, Sean, yeah. Uh, that is quite a good example, isn't it, though? Like, the fact it, it names you Thief for the entire entirety of the game. Just to shame you. I like that. You don't have to steal, but the option is there. It's not like you need to steal in Link's Awakening. There's a, enough cash in that game to keep you going, really. Uh, we'll try again. I, I'm i hoping we get a scarab up here. Five. There we go. Job done. You've never seen this game before, Leon. I um, I remember when it came out. I played it for a bit. I, I never completed it. I did get really far in the game. Um, but the weird thing is it was never supposed to be a, a Star Fox game. If you YouTube Dinosaur Planet N64, it will actually show you what the game was supposed to have been. It's so weird, you can like check out the video and it's, it is this game, but with N64 graphics and other characters, it's weird. <laughs> much. We are going to try for seven. No, that's too low. I will go for eight. Control. I I would say it's a game that interests me. Maybe. You don't have enough scabs. I was actually waiting for the ultimate edition, but um There's a few games I've got lined up in the future. Uh, I sh I'm sure I'll probably add control to it. But I am quite enjoying going back through some of the old classics, really. Games that I always wanted to properly play through, but never did. So, um... Yeah. This will be one of those games that I always did want to complete. You're doing fine. I, I was going to say that that was a crazy weekend. Have you spoken to Major at all? He's probably knackered. Especially after the drive home, I would have thought. Cool. Right. Well, at least we can come across fireflies now instead of having to buy them. Nice. Right. That definitely looks like... <laughs> I need a fire flyer. Oh, 
Ah, oh, right. Okay, so we need six of these to progress. Yeah. You've not talked to him after the stream yet. He's probably taking a rest, yeah. Scarabs. That's what I would call filthy money. Scarabs. I always think of Aladdin. <laughs> because you collect scarabs in one of the levels, so... That's really the only time I've heard of scarabs. Maybe, like, the mummy movies. I remember scarabs from them. That does not look good. It's a bit weird. There is a bomb patch. Well, there might be a bomb patch. Oh, I love it. Aladdin's great. It's a great game. Um... I played it multiple times on the channel. Lion King, I'm not really as big a fan of, but the Aladdin games, they're good. All oh, right, so we need a bomb sport. I don't have. Yeah, we'll have to come back. Hey, Packy, welcome. How you doing? I I actually really enjoy the Prince of Persia games. I'm, I'm gutted they haven't made a new one, though, for so many years. However, I hear that they're doing a remake of one of the Prince of Persia games. That's all I've heard, though. It... Uh, there's a remake of one of them. Which one? I don't know, but... The original Prince of Persia games, the 2D ones, they're alright. But I've always preferred the, the ones from, like, Sands of Time, Warrior Within. Uh, there was a third game as well, Two, Two Thrones. They were great. I And then they rebooted it with, um, like, a cell-shaded Prince of Persia. Which I still enjoyed. I thought it was a good game. And then they brought one more out. Where you had to like use water to freeze. and um, That was quite a good one too. But what was it? Assassin's Creed pretty much come out. And we got no more uh, Prince of Persia's. We'll grab another one. Come on. I should be alright. We'll go and grab whatever was behind that lock wall. Hey, Arish, welcome. How you doing? I'm doing good myself. Yes, 
So, let's try that again. <laughs> yeah, I want to be a bit careful doing that. The good thing is, like, we, we collected those items that should bring me back to life to... Yeah, if I die, but... Say anything. Is that really it? <laughs> Just one. Now the issue is, right, I, I don't actually know how many of the mushrooms I've got. I don't know if I've collected all six. We'll go and find out. Your internet connection is not stable. Welcome to my world. Hi hey, Andy, how you doing? Zachary, welcome. Oh, your best friend stayed with you this weekend. Awesome. What did you get up to, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, yeah, it, I, I, I totally understand. During the whole, like, COVID or locking time, it was really weird not... That's the first time I've died. I need to be paying more attention. Well, technically I didn't die, but you know what I mean. <laughs> um, yeah, during the whole locking period, it, oh, not good. But it is good to catch up with people you haven't seen for a while. I love it. In most video games, I always roll. I'm sure some of you guys in chat do the same. It is always quicker, you know, to roll. Or at least it feels like it. <laughs> right, okay, we need to feed her. Let's give her some... Um... Oh, we've got four. Yes, ma'am. So we still need two more. I'm assuming that's the only place I can get him down the well. It makes sense, it's nice and dark and... <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. Four mushrooms. I had to go through a lot to get those for her. And she is an athlete. Right, so we've still got two hidden around somewhere. Let's say respawn. Uh, 
I don't know. How, how do you think the event went? In general? Do you think it was successful? I mean, to be fair, it was the first time they've ever done uh, it as a digital show. Oh, cool. Well, I'm hoping that that's created like a, a bridge above so I can get round it. I love the fact that mushrooms are like, <laughs> actually try and get away from you, like they're actual living creatures. Hey, Packy, I did. I watched Bill and Ted uh, Saturday. We had a nice barbecue. Uh, we ended up putting Bill and Ted 2 on in the background, uh, just for the people that wanted a bit of a catch-up. And then, yeah, we watched Bill and Ted 3. You did the same, didn't you, on Saturday? What, what did you think of it? I'm intrigued. Uh, I don't know if we've got anyone in the chat that wants to watch Bill and Ted free. I think it's called Face the Music. Uh, we'll try not to reveal any spoilers. You might not want to watch it anyway, but... Your stream. It wasn't short. It was like three hours, Leon. I think, well, it went on to about 1am. <laughs> What is Bill and Ted? It's um, it's a, a 90s movie series. It's got Keanu Reeves in it. John Wick. They uh, the first movie is called Excellent Adventure, right? They uh, they're gonna fail high school unless they put on this big show. So what they do is they go back through time, getting all like the big um, Sigmund. Freud, they've got Genghis Khan, Joan of Arc. They all basically get all of these old famous people and uh, bring them back to their time and do a big show. The second one's good as well, Bogus Journey. That's quite fun. It's a bit more cartoonish, but death is amazing in it. But yeah, this third movie is uh, kind of wraps things up. Feed me. She better be happy. Thank you, Father. I went through a lot for those. Thank you for saving my son and for saving me. Okay, okay, enough of the thanks. And just like that, no, she's fine. From you. Just Can a few just mushrooms. Going on? This is all the work of General. So good. He is the ruler of the Sharp Claw tribe, 
A nasty bunch of pirates who have always wanted to rule Dinosaur Planet. Death is amazing. Been able to stop his attempt. But this yeah, time, he 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 was a good character. Defeated our army at the Krizoa Palace. I I do right, like the fact right. that there's like a robot in the new one. He is very like awkward. It's pretty funny. Force point temples. I'm listening. This planet is rich with a magical force, a force so strong that it is continually pushing our world apart. To stop this, four spellstones were placed inside the Force Point temples. Okay, that's a bit weird, but I understand. With the seals broken, scales entered the temples and removed the spellstone. With nothing to hold back the magic force, the planet was torn apart. At last, it all makes sense. So, the bad guy takes the spell stones, your planet falls apart, and I've got to find the spell stones and bring them back to the Force Point temples. See, Mom, I told you he was good. Star Fox, yeah. <laughs> My son will remain with you. For only a dinosaur of noble birth can breathe life into the spell stones. What? Uh, that's okay, but don't you think he's a bit young? Uh, I mean, it's gonna be very. Thank you for the host, Leo. Loads of bad guys fighting death. He knows. Uh, the no, life. Sean. Not for race sure He's shown you his sidekick skills. Oh yeah, I forgot about those. Come on, Fox. We'll make a great team. Okay, but if you mess up just once, I'll send you straight back to mommy. Okay, yeah, yeah. Good. Now, our spies have indicated that Scales was last seen in Dark Ice Mines. I know the gatekeeper, Garunda Tay, a silly fellow, but he can guide you to the Spellstone. Uh, Go back Sim to the Snow Oral Oasis and find him. I'm Robert at pronouncing word, uh, no. Simorelli, thank you for the uh, sub. I appreciate that. Enjoy the story. Maybe it'll come in use somewhere. <laughs> okay, enough already. Can I just get on with it? Are we actually going to do a temple? I think we're going to get there eventually. Uh, Sharp Claw Prison Key. Must have dropped it when they attacked the Queen Earthwalker. Is he coming? No time to be uh, rolling on your back. Yeah, I go, going back to the Bill and Ted thing, Packy. I did enjoy it mostly. I yeah, I, I don't know. There was something about it that I thought was a bit cringy at times and a bit cheap. But I think for most people, it's a, a successful bookend to the, the series of movies. Hi, Fox. It's Slippy. Seems like you need some. Come back when you need. Hi, Fox. World map. Scanners indicate that this is your current position. Scanners indicate that. Fox, I have been studying your mission. Read the information on screen. I hope my info. Maybe I missed something there, but I'm not quite sure where I'm supposed to be heading. Back to the ice. Maybe the ice area. Yeah, of course, Arish. That's absolutely fine. Anthony Queens, thank you for the uh, subscribe as well. Appreciate it. Enjoy the stream. Indeed, yeah. They've been talking about making a, a sequel for so long. It's kind of good they actually got around to making a movie. Stay. 
Yeah, I, I hope when you say much bigger, you mean height-wise. <laughs> uh, right, okay. That changes the water. Yeah, because we've got this little thing up here. I need to hit that with uh, the fire arrow, maybe. Or... I was going to say, you calling me fat? Fine. Blaine, thank you for the uh, sub. I know I put on a, a few extra pounds this this past month, but um, I'm trying to rectify it. Just come back the same way. I'm not that tall. I'm only six foot three. There's definitely taller people out there. Yeah, this is a dead end. Surely. Ah, oh, I remember. Okay. It's all coming back to me now. Right. There's our key. Hey, the Phoenix. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for the host. Taller than Dr. Disrespect. I, f I thought T Dr. Disrespect was like 6'6 six, six or something. What is that? <laughs> the Sharp Claw have imprisoned me in this infernal cave. If you can bring me frost weeds, I'll be strong enough to get myself out. Perhaps the young prince can help you. Hurry, boy! Well, I'm hoping they just don't keep coming. I don't know why there's like a, a life bar at the bottom of the screen. Maybe that's... How many weeds he needs? I don't know. Yeah, 
Yeah, they, they just keep coming. So what have we got? He said weeds somewhere. useful information. Unfortunately, I'm not quite sure I should be down there. Whoa. Sorry, I missed what is going on in the chat. Uh, your English is not good. Well, it is an English chat, so please try and use English. Otherwise, everyone is going to get very confused. They just keep coming and coming, don't they? Slippy here. Got yourself stuck again? Oh, I see, right. Hope that so we want to be using if I can get out the way anyway. the easiest thing to do is it where when you're being attacked you're trying to get tricky to do stuff Whoa, whoa, whoa. actually doing it oh he's doing something Oh, 
Come on. Is this guy deaf? <laughs> Maybe that's where it is. Maybe that's what I want him to... Yeah, no secret there, though. Well, that's the weird thing. Usually, right, it will mark on the grounds where he ne needs to dig. But I don't don't see any markings, and these guys just keep respawning. And trick is like looking in, going, "I can't help you, but I'll watch." <laughs> Yeah, they just keep walking in. Honestly, what is going on right now? Why is there nothing he can dig at? I mean, sometimes he needs feeding, but he's got way, way enough um, mushrooms. Hey, Phoenix, welcome. If if you want to tell me where for him to go, I've generally I've been completely fine, but I can't get tricky to where I think he needs to be. No, you can tell me this one. Sh should I be standing in a, a different place? I I don't want to use a walkthrough. I mean, I haven't as of yet, so I don't really want to start now, but... Maybe my brain just isn't working. Because he does not want to come up here. Oh, hang on, hang on. 
is actually doing something. that because no the um, they just keep coming back to life they keep respawning The only thing I would say is it does look like we've got a bar down the bottom that is increasing. So maybe this is actually finally working. Maybe Tricky is doing something useful. Yeah, that is the only downside. I would say generally the game's enjoyable. But yeah, the combat is a little bit basic compared to Ocarina. I mean, I don't know if that improves as the game goes on, but... I've lost him. There he is. Right. The Phoenix. If you are still there, how... How is uh, Tricky actually finding stuff? Because, like I said, the green bar is going up, but he doesn't want to seem to search. Thank you as well for the follow. Appreciate it. Don't get it. Uh, Dan is streaming at seven. Okay, I know he's playing wreck fast tonight.
Ah, tumbleweeds. Right, okay. I definitely found tumbleweeds. There were some floating around the place. Nice. Ah, uh, hang on. Right, so hitting the tree makes the tumbleweeds drop down. It's just, just making sense of, really, what, what do the tumbleweeds do? They lure them, but why? Whatever. I don't know what happened there. Ah, the young <laughs> Something worked quite clearly. Oh, who is this, with you? <laughs> this is my friend Fox McCloud. My mother sent us to find you. Well, I am Garunda Tay, Spellstone Gatekeeper of Dark Eyes Mine. We're looking for a spellstone. A spellstone? It is my duty as a gatekeeper to guard the land from which a spellstone is forged. General Scales took the spellstone and discovered that I was a gatekeeper. He gave me an ultimatum. Oh, a bit of backstory. To take the spellstone back into the sacred land, or he would destroy my tribe. I could not risk the safety of the entire planet, so I refused to help. My daughter did not think this way. And so, to save the tribe, she opened the gateway herself. Scales did not destroy my tribe. He enslaved them instead. My daughter dishonored me. You must search for the Spellstone within Dark Ice Mines and return it to the Volcano Fourth Point Temple. Only then will the Spellstone's power be <coughs> returned. I will open the gateway. Nice. Uh, check out Peppy's Dinosaur Planet map. Let's see where we're oh, going next. Peppy! Peppy here! I'll display the world map. Scanners indicate that this is your... The flashing dots show where you need to go. Keep going, Fox. What, back, back to Thorntail Hollow? But there's a, a cave over here. It's a bit weird with the uh, the eyes. Right, so what's going on here? Um, yeah, guys, I don't know if it's 100%. I think it probably will be. But uh, tomorrow, and probably the next few Tuesdays, Wayne's going to be joining me. He's asked if he could join in with some streams. So I think we're going to start playing through Donkey Kong Country 3. It's going to probably be more of a casual playthrough. I've never really played it before. 
Uh, and I don't think Wayne has really. I think he said he might have played it a while ago. Uh, so we're going to be doing that Tuesday. I will return back with this maybe on Wednesday. Depends how work is this week. Yeah, I mean, a lot, a lot of people say Donkey Kong Country number two is probably the uh, their favourite, but on the same page, number three does seems to do quite a lot of good stuff. And uh, I played the first level or so. It seems all right. Definitely, the difficulty is ramped up in that game compared to the first. Like the first Donkey Kong game, I enjoy that because you can play through it in a couple of hours, maybe two and a half hours. So it's one of those games that is just good to pick up when you want want something quicker to play. Stay. But yeah, Donkey Kong Country 3, I know will be a lot bigger. Yeah, of course I don't know. That's absolutely fine. Hopefully we're going to make progress. Yeah, we probably will do two-player playthrough. Um, I will have a chat with him. I, I know when we last did Donkey Kong Country, we just swapped the pad after every level. But I think we probably will try and do a two-player co-op thing. Ah, hang on. How come I've never discovered this before? We should. Cool. I was wondering how I was going to get hit that mark up top, so we're done. Awesome. You can definitely tell, though, with Rare, right, a lot of their early games, you didn't have to collect too much. This one, definitely, there's a lot to collect. It's a bit of a collector form. So, I believe... Slippy here! Got yourself stuck again? I'm pretty sure I should have enough fuel. You have enough, yeah, cool. I do like the bits where it goes full on Star Fox, though. find the gatekeeper's daughter and uh yeah that easy easy simple <laughs> if the controller works
I tell you what, it's actually quite difficult to hit hit the uh, the gold rings in comparison to the first level, where I got like ten of them. But we're good, we're good. Sorry, Jack. What what do you mean? Alright, so I'm hoping we're, we're going to get to the, well, first proper temple. Because that, that's what I definitely wanted out of this game. A bit, you know, of the old Zelda type of dungeons. Puzzles, things like that. This looks like the, uh, the fire temple. <laughs> But on the same page, I'm thinking, actually, I probably should have bought a map for this place. Can you help me get free? Uh, we'll need something a bit more powerful, I guess. I've tried the rod, but I don't think it's going to work. No, that just that just upsets the mammoth. Yeah, I've got, I've got the scarabs to, to buy a map. But it means going all the way back to buy it. We'll continue on. If, if I get stuck, then fair enough, but... I'm sure it'll be fine. So we need to get into the mine. Uh, sorry, did Sean? Did you ask about Phantom Hourglass? Uh, yeah, I did play it. I never. Again, it's one of those games. The issues I've got with Zelda games, right? It's not just Zelda. 
is the fact that you play play a Zelda game, you come back to it maybe three months later, and you've forgotten what you're doing next. So um, that's what happened with Phantom Hourglass. I actually quite enjoyed it. For a touchscreen game, it was pretty good. But on the same page, it's annoying that I could never properly complete it. So there should be something down there. There we go. Cool. Bit random why that would be here, but <laughs> I won't judge. Gatekeeper's daughter. She didn't mean to get us into this mess by telling Scales about the Spellstone. She did what she thought was right. Please help her. Okay, lady. I'll keep a lookout for her. This might be of use to you. I found it while I was working. It looked important, so I hid it from the Sharp Claws. Bridge Cog. Uh, okay, well, I haven't come across anything just yet. I think my issue is trying to figure out how to break through the ice. Because we've got a bridge over here. Oh, look, right. This game is obsessed with, like, brutality. There's always someone getting, like, beaten up. Flame command. Interesting, sir. Go on, young. What is he a tr triceratop? And he's never tried that in his life. <laughs> if I wasn't so exhausted, Fair enough. I could help you through the main gates. I need some food. It's all want, want, want. Ah, right, I get you. So, now we've got the flame ability, right? We should be able to go back and get through the ice doors. Yeah. 
It's kind of weird. I mean, don't get me wrong. It does follow a lot of stuff Zelda does. But on the same page, it, it definitely feels more... I guess linear, to some extent. I don't know why that wouldn't work. The Fire Blaster surely, surely should work. <laughs> Whoops. Didn't know that could happen. Welcome back, Arish. It is easier, but I actually kind of like the fact that I'm not struggling too much. I mean, to me, it's all about the dungeons, and I'm hoping this will be uh, a decent dungeon. A major. The fights are repetitive, but I, I wouldn't really say anything else is too bad. Um. I don't believe there's nothing in this room. How did it all go, Major? Have you uh, rested a bit? Oh yeah, it's work overtime today. Well, I hope you uh, get a bit of rest at some point. Get for real. Flame. Oh. Nice. Um, we're going to be playing for at least a couple of hours, yeah. A couple more hours. I want to make a decent dent into the game, really, today. Right, so what are we doing with this block? Just trying to find somewhere it can go.
Well, to be fair, there's, there's not actually that many places it can go. Let me just check back down here. There wasn't... Right. That must be the way out. Till, till midnight? No, no. <laughs> I've got work tomorrow. I'm back as normal, so... Uh, yeah, probably about 8pm UK time I'll finish off. Depending how we're going. The bats are a little bit annoying. They do just appear out of nowhere sometimes. And when you've got low health like that, well... Maybe that's all there is to do. food but in these parts the alpine root only seems to grow in sheltered areas the deaths are dramatic would you expect anything less <laughs> oh, that's better but i need more he needs more Those boulders, that they just get flung around like bouncy balls. It's funny. Right. I'm so yeah, hungry. I've got food. Don't I worry. Need food. I was going to say, back it up. You've got to get me through this door. Let's smash those gates. <clears throat> Is he coming? Oh, I get you. Right.
How do you think the uh, speed run went yesterday for you? Major. Slightly concerning. The controls aren't doing anything. And I dread to think the last of my sight. So oh, here we go. Right, we're back in action. First thing I will do is save. We don't want any mistakes going on here. Oh, he, he popped off to get some food. That's fine. Thank you. I know I said he was tired. I wasn't sure if he was just lurking. Yeah, I, I was looking on... Um, we were talking about this the other day. On f Talking about Fiverr. I'm trying to get some new emotes for the channel because I am well aware they're not great. We've, we need to get some for Twitch as well because it's a bit empty. What what would you like as emotes? Because I was thinking about it. I can pick... I can get stuff designed, right? But it's not me that generally are going to be using the emotes. So uh, I think it might be worth asking the audience a bit. Um, I've got some ideas, but if anyone wants to chime in, please let me know. Keep the chicken. Well, I'm sure I can arrange that. Because I, I do see a lot of other streamers. What they do right is... They'll have a certain type of emote. And then, you know, one for... One for, like, GG or something like that. If you've got any ideas, please let me know. Uh, but I definitely want to try and get something sorted soon. I mean, someone said, well, why don't you have little emotes of Gretel? And I was like, yeah, that could work, but Gretel is getting on a bit, and it might be a little bit... <laughs> you know what I mean getting them done at this stage. Uh, someone mentioned little chickens. Which kind of works. I d eh, I'm not sure about that. I'm still in the, uh, the thinking phase. Right, so there is a bridge there. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, don't get me wrong, I, I, but I think I should have maybe a set of emotes with a common theme. That's what I'm trying to think, should I have a little character for the emotes? That's generally what most people seem to do, rather than having like eight different emotes that could be a bit like all over the place. It was just an idea anyway. Right, so, we have got to open this door. Rocks come out there. And it's quite possible I still need the mammoth to do something, so uh, let's jump back on and... ...try and smash some stuff up. Huh. 
Well, <laughs> I thought that was going to work. Quite clearly not. It's useless. <laughs> I'll, I'll investigate a bit more. Yeah, I'll investigate a bit more. Yo, yeah, you don't need to apologise, Arish. It's fine. If you need to make phone calls or whatever, go for it. Do I get to use the tank? I hope so. <laughs> That's it, Fox. Keep walking. I don't really want to hit the mammoth if I can help it. Well, I'll just assume that I don't need to do anything else. I've got the entrance open, so... Oh, yeah, 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 fine. I, I lurk a lot on streams myself, so I can't talk. The only thing I would say is I am pretty sure that the the bridge was like missing at least two cogs. But it also looks like I can come back down this way with the uh, the mammoth. <laughs> what was 
Okay, we can't go that way just yet. Hey, Sir Axman, I, I tell you what, right? I actually quite like it. I think the fighting can be a bit repetitive, um, but I think it's an alright game. If I can remember where the uh, other cogs are. I mean, don't get me wrong, I, I still wish this was properly Dinosaur Planet. I, I don't think it needed to be called, you know, have anything to do with Star Fox, personally. But what they did with it, it's, it's alright. They probably could have maybe spent a bit more time on it. to swarm the cogs for down here. Very weird. There we go. We still need loads of them. Um, yeah. It, it doesn't feel completely like a Star Fox game. However, I honestly believe after Star Fox 64, it needed a change. It, it becomes stale. Star Fox 64 is the best Star Fox old school game, you know? And they were never going to beat that. They tried to. They, they tried to remake Star Fox so many times. Every time, they try something a little bit different. And uh, it kind of fails. They try and be experimental with the game. That fails too. Right, I'll try this again. I, I just have a feeling that maybe I need to kill enough of them and then the gate will open. Or at least I hope. <laughs> hey Wayne, how you doing? Well, to, to be fair, Leon, it, it hasn't been that long since the previous Star Fox game. Uh, I think it came out, what, 2016? I played it. It's it's just like a, a dual screen game. And it wasn't that great. When they try and make a game that's too similar to the old ones, people, you know, people say, nah, we want something new. But when they try something different, it doesn't always work. Like, Star Fox Assault is another GameCube game. Um, much more like the old Star Foxes, but it's also got on for areas where you play as Fox. But I never really enjoyed that game that much. This guy just does not want to die. Yeah, you never make everyone happy. It's it's impossible. It's like Star Fox. They're they're just not that popular. Not Star Fox F Zero. They're just not that popular anymore to warrant a big release.
I only needed one. <laughs> Don't believe that. Right, anyway, let's go back. And grab the cog. You've got a Star Fox mug I, that I drink tea from. I got it for six bucks. Well, what else are you going to drink? Coffee, I guess. Uh, I got it for six bucks on Amazon. You can never have enough mugs. I don't know. I, you should see my cupboard. It was full of mugs. I had to get rid of a few. I had way too many. So I, I, I don't completely agree with that, but... Do we have anyone in chat that has played a regular Star Fox game? Because like I said, they are kind of niche in the grand scale of things compared to like the, the Marios and Sonics. Where's the last one? I haven't a clue. Might be back up this way. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It looks like I need the the mammoth again to to progress from that point. Oh, there we go. Cool. He's always so happy. He's like, yes. I can move on now. How you doing, Wayne, anyway? You been up so much? Reminds me of, like, a Resident Evil game. <laughs> Just cog, cog and uh, clock puzzles. You always get them in those games. Right, we've got a bridge, which I hope the mammoth can maybe cross over with me. Does that look big enough to support a, a mammoth? We'll come back in a minute. Yeah, all good. Yeah, I was I was talking about earlier that we should be doing uh, uh, Donkey Kong Country 3 tomorrow. The only other one, Wayne, I was thinking about, I know we discussed it before, was uh, Super Monkey Ball. But um, we can uh, we can always do that some other point. Beyond the leap of faith lies an ancient prize. Well, we've got to get through the door first.
Oh, look, look. Bingo. Oh, right. <laughs> oh, okay, so all, all of the little gaps have been uh, gated up. Oh, right, cool. Flame. Flame. Don't believe this. If I had five more seconds, we would have done that. Always hungry. What? Uh, what a time to be asking to be fed. Flame. Should be it. I hope. I couldn't remember, Wayne, if um, if you said you had completed Donkey Kong Country 3. I'm pretty sure you have, haven't you? Of course you have. What am I thinking? Hey, I've, I've watched um, Indiana Jones, The Last Crusade. I know all about Leap of Faiths. All uh, right, what is this? More flame? This guy has actually become very useful ever since he got his flame ability. A dinosaur horn. If you find a horn pad on the ground, you can use this horn. Ah, oh, cool. I know where to use this. So yeah, we had that other area where any time I went into the snow, I got returned. So maybe if I use this, then he'll come, like, running through, busting down the wall and get to me. Not too sure where he's just come from because <laughs> there was no other exits. Uh... Hey, it's a dibble. How you doing? How is things? What have you been playing lately? He will need to be fed alpine roots as you explore. 
look on the ground and walk over to eat them. Kind of crazy how, how much energy these guys get through if they need to eat on the route. <laughs> Oh, the, there's a demo for Crystal Chronicles. I think I've still got that on my GameCube. It, it was a weird one because um, it come with like a, a Game Boy adapter. Because it was a four player, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure. What's it like anyway on the Switch? Yeah, I, I, if I ever see a, a physical copy of Streets of Rage 4, I'd probably buy it. But it was like a limited run, wasn't it? That's why I don't see it happening. And the fact I've already bought it the once on the, uh, the Switch anyway. Problem with digital games though, isn't it, really? Like, yeah, once the system's done, if they turn off like the the shops, how do you get hold of these games? Oh, 30 quid. That's not bad. Oh, 35 on Switch. Yeah, you always have to pay the, uh, the Switch tax. They, they always do that. They always, like, add an extra £5 on. It's a bit cheeky, really. I was actually quite half tempted to um, pick up the Xbox Game Pass because I, I know for the first month it's only a quid, one pound for all of their games. And to be fair, even at their full price, I think it's about ten pound a month. But I don't think it's that bad. 
I think it's pretty reasonable. As long as you're getting through a brand new game a month, then... Well, kind of pays for itself. Uh, CEX have, yeah, gone a bit crazy with um, how much they charge. Never gonna stop, is it? The King of Lions, welcome. How are you doing today? Thanks for stopping by. We have a key. prison cell. I'm guessing that's where Tricky is. Yeah, Wayne, no worries. See you later. You beat Star Fox Adventures on the GameCube many years ago. Never completed it myself. I honestly, I can't remember how far I got into the game. This area looks familiar. But, it, there could be a later part of the game I got to. So we had the other prison there as well, didn't we? Should have left Tricky. As tempting as that would have been, I, I actually want to get on with the game soon, Mick. <laughs> I, yeah, I just, I don't know about Avengers. I was considering to get it. I thought it was going to be, it could be a good one for the channel. But on the same page, I've heard some bad stuff about it, and it definitely looks nicer on the PC. But streaming it and playing it on the same PC might be a bit of a, a struggle. So I'm not 100% sure what to do there. I want, yeah, I, I, I want to see what other people say about the game first. Welcome back, Major. Who are 
you? I am Fox, and this is the Crown Prince of the Earthwalkers. We've been sent by the Snowhorn Gatekeeper to find the Spellstone. Do you know where it's hidden? My name is Belina Tay. The Gatekeeper is my father. Did he send you to rescue me? I I'm sorry, Belina, but he feels you have betrayed the beliefs of the Gatekeepers. We were only sent to find the Spellstone. So there we are. Yeah, fool. I had to save the tribe. If it wasn't for my father being a gatekeeper... Oh, getting a bit aggressive now. Slowly backing up. My dog's done that so many times. What, why didn't you just do that in the first place? <laughs> Thanks. Just leave us behind. Yes, Mr. It's David Wise, yeah. I mean, the game isn't perfect by any means, but it's still a fun game. Alina, are you there? Listen carefully. Find a way to the bottom of the mine. I'll meet you there. Yeah, if I remember correctly, when I was uh, coming over to Norway, I completely forgot I could have got this signed. Probably would have made more sense over Diddy Kong Racing. But it's all good. Uh, right, we have. Yeah, I, I, I honestly, I, I got no real issues with it, apart from being a little repetitive with the fights. It still kind of looks good, I would say. Like you say, the music still stands up, or holds up, sorry. What you should be able to do, though, is actually hold health. I know you get extra lives, that's not a problem, and I think you can find fruit that gives you health, but you don't actually have any health to hold on to. Come on, Fox is a goner. Good job, we've got some backup. Yeah, if anything, I, I, th I think he actually played um, a piece of music from this game, Major, in Norway. It's almost like I need some ice to stand on to get to some of these places. But you would f think you could grab onto the wall or do something.
That would be it. Yeah, apparently as well, one of the reasons uh, that it was changed to a Star Fox game was because Nintendo didn't want Microsoft to release it for the Xbox. Kind of makes sense, I guess, if it was a dinosaur planet. They might have had to have done that. I really hope this works. <laughs> yeah, cool. Yeah, last game they made. I think they they actually got bought out before this game released, wasn't it? If I remember correctly. I really hate the bats in this. I've got one piece of health. This is... You know what? I don't know what happens if you completely die. So uh, I'm going to save it just to be on the safe side. Alright. It asks you to save anyway. That's not too bad. Seems a little bit silly though that it only gives you like a little bit of health back. Starlink. I I still haven't played it. I heard the Star Fox stuff was good though. Yeah. Yeah, we're... We're going to have to find a, a way of getting some health back and then come Where back here. I mean, the only thing I've heard about Starlink is that it does get a little bit repetitive. But that's about it, you know?
I always kind of found, found it funny though with Conker's Bad Fur Day. So Microsoft ended up making that game for the Xbox, right? Bear with me. Yeah, so they ended up making... Uh, yeah, what was it called? Conquer Live and Reloaded. But the fact they edited out a lot of the swearing, stuff like this, for an Xbox, which typically gets more, you know, age-related content games. And they, they, they made it family-friendly. It seems more like something that Nintendo would do, personally. I need more health. The game's quite big, though, isn't it, Starlink? About 30 hours, something like that. Oh, here we go. So he's hungry. I, I need some health. This is not looking good. It's actually not that warm here today, Rish. The weather's definitely dropped. Yeah, I've run out of um I've run out of my fairies. So we've died once or twice. But it hasn't really been a big deal. Yeah, the issue is, so the fairy things are all the way back in the main hub. Now, I'm stuck in a, a dungeon type thing at the minute. I can't get back there. So I don't quite know how I can get them. And you get these stupid bats as well that just appear out of nowhere. This again. Yes, I, I don't know what. Well, saying that, the temperature says twenty-four degrees, but it doesn't feel twenty-four. Okay, if you stick to the main quest, it's quick. I'll take your word.
We're doing pretty well for the uh, Scarab, so what I expect I'll do is once I get out of this place, get back to uh, Forte Hollow, I'll go and just buy stuff. Oh, death standing. Cool. Or stranding, my bad. Belina, you made it! It, it hasn't been easy. Now, where oh, is the voices stone? in this game are a little cheesy. Exactly There's two but voices in particular. It close. The shopkeeper and the, you and the big stone monster. Do. Time is short. You must find the spell stone. You paid this much. And you got the, uh, the guy from uh, Austin Powers as the big rock ornament. Seems like a bit of a weird sort of alcove if there's nothing in here. Don't know. We need the, those crisp ADH voices. I, I actually think the quality of some of the voices in this game, I could do as good a job, I reckon. But this was probably back, you know. They never hired professional voice actors. They just had staff do the voices. So that's probably why a lot of the old games just sound terrible. Because of that very reason. What you're buying, what you're selling, yeah. Nothing beats the merchant from Resi 4. He is the legend. The one and only. Bit of a Donkey Kong. Going on it. I'm assuming I need to take this up here. I don't know where it's supposed to go. I reckon I don't need it. I think that was just... You know, if I got hit by a boulder or something, I could use it. Ah, we got this under control, Jack, I'm sure. Although some extra health would be nice, yeah.
Well, guess what, guys? It turns out I probably did need that barrel. Although the question is, how do I get it up the uh, the ladder? So yeah, it, it does kind of look like I somehow... If it's not that barrel I need to bring up, it's a different one. But there was something that lit up, I believe. Can we outrun the barrel? That is a question everyone is asking right now, isn't it? <laughs> no. Uh, right, okay. So there was something that lit up. Wants fade in again. Hey, Billy Rich, welcome. You got yeah, same as, same as. Uh, yeah, I've I've said in the chat already, but it's been a long time since I've attempted to play this game. I never finished it, so uh, I want to change it. I want to make sure I can get this one done. Am I playing on the Wii? Uh, no, I'm actually... I'm emulating the game just because it looks a little bit nicer. Uh, if I used my... I guess the Wii U is possible. There is ways around it. Uh, but yeah, it's so much easier just to emulate the game. Plus we can play it kind of in widescreen mode. Which you can't do on the GameCube. I'll try and go back up then. I don't know where else I can go.
I don't like the fact if you get too close to the edge, it'll just automatically ledge grab. That's annoying. Oh, hang on, so we we can't go that way. That's fine. Yeah, Billy, I I am a little stumped. There was something on the ground that I saw. So up up the steps, right up the ladder, there is something I can break. What is that? Ah, look, hang on, hang on. So maybe that'll pick it up to the top layer. Then I can go and pick it up. actually worked. I'd be gutted if I had to do all that over again, though. <clears throat> Are you kidding me? Surely that's that should have worked. That should have worked, right? That should have blown the crack open in the wall. Did I do it wrong? I'm pretty sure I didn't. Try that again. Yes, yeah, it's, it's really that kind of rare that we get snow anymore in the UK. Scotland. Scotland gets a lot of snow. Where I am, though, it's quite rare, really. I was going through some of my old photos, and I think it was about... What was that?
Yeah, 20, 2016, I think. And I, I don't... I don't think it was, like, a lot of snow. But, I mean, with everything that's happened this year, like, I expect snow. <laughs> it's just been one of those years, you know? We're going to probably have the worst snow for weather now. We had snow in 2018. I can't remember there being much snow. Don't get me wrong, I, I fully believe there was snow. It's just... If there was, there wasn't that much of it. I think 20, 2012, 2013, there was a lot of snow. I've definitely got photos of when that happens, so, um... Well, if this doesn't work, I don't know what else to try. Because... This should blow a hole in the wall. And it doesn't work. No way I'm going to make that, surely. Hey, Dan. Yeah, exactly. I, I remember that. Up on the uh, the big hill, yeah? <laughs> that was a crazy day. I, I, I still think that was one of the best snow days we had. Hey, Lance, how you doing? Danny, you're not streaming. I thought you were streaming at 7 o'clock. Do we have anyone in the chat that has played this game before? Hi, Fox. It's Slippy. Seems like you need some help. Yeah. And I'm sure that the cannon at the top will come in use for target practice. The Gowdon must be close by. Hope so whatever I'm doing is right. It just... It just doesn't want to work. Yeah, well, it's, it's saying I need to blow a hole in the wall. That's under control. I can do that. But it does not want to work at all. <laughs> Just drop, drop, Fox.
Oh, I just quit, didn't I? Well, we're 25% through the game. Uh, this game came out in 2002. In America, anyway. I'd, I'm assuming it was the same year in the UK. Actually, I think it might have come out earlier. I, I can't remember. It could have been 2001. But I think it was 2002. Try and do it from a distance, but not so close. I'll give that a go, Billy. I mean, generally, the game's been fine up until this point. Well, there was one area which was uh, a bit unclear what I was supposed to be doing, but... Oh, fair enough, Dan. I, I did wonder, because you were going to stream yesterday, weren't you? And I assume something happened then. Ah, that's, that's fair enough. 2000... Of course I'm right. I know my video game trivia. I knew when this game was released. I uh, have right. Although, I t tell you what, I'll be right back in a minute. Oh, you're, you're too late, Arij. I'm back. Right, so, um, what what was going on? So you said don't throw it from afar, or don't get too close to it. I just don't want to do this again. Like this would be the third time. <laughs> yeah, Dan, uh, I, I was t talking to Dave about Wreckfast. It we watched a IGM re review. It looks pretty good. I I'd, I'd already known about it, but. I, I might still have to get it. A bit closer than this. You reckon? We did it. Thank you, Billy. But that is a little bit, like, unfair, though, that you have to be in an exact same... Uh, the exact right place to do it. The lead to the rescue. I like it. Right. Uh...
I tell you what, Lance, I actually did some weights today. My shoulders are killing me. Um, yeah, I've got access to some weights. So I'm going to try and do them every so often now. Just uh, do something, exercise-wise, anyway. Give me six months, I'll be looking like The Rock. You know, big, big biceps. Pure muscle. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think so. Do I have gamer fuel? Uh, no. Oh, G fuel. No. I did buy some a while ago, but I, I thought it was disgusting. It did not taste good. Oh, the reface app, yeah. Did I post the rock one? I can't remember. That was a funny one. The Incredible Hulk. I'll just put some green makeup on and I'm good. Oh, yeah, no, there was another video as well of me as The Rock from, I don't know what film, probably Scorpion King. It was only like a, a few seconds, but it was weird. Hey, yeah, I did. I finished Ratchet and Clank the other day. I really enjoyed it. It was a good game. Unfortunately, I can't, can't really say that the same for the movie. Uh, I did end up watching the movie. It's... It wasn't great, if I'm being honest. And if you played the game, it, it seems a bit pointless to, to watch it. If you're a massive, massive fan of the game and the, the series, then you'd probably get some enjoyment out of it. So, grab that. The film, the film is probably about 15 minutes of cut scenes and the rest of it is new. The ending's very different in the movie. I just, I didn't really find it that interesting. It was a very like, C-grade animated movie. They should have just not bothered. But the game, yeah. I mean, I'm really pumped for the PS5 one. It really does look good. I love the uh, the ability to jump between... Well, they say dimensions, but a lot of it is just different areas in the game. Like portals. So, uh, I think it will turn out pretty good. <laughs> How can you not like superhero movies? They're just dumb fun. <laughs> Oh, Batman. Bat Dark Knight. Great movie. I always find the better superhero movies, though, are the ones that aren't superhero movies. Like, Captain America Civil War, right, is actually quite a good thriller. Or you've got something like Ant-Man, which is actually a really quite a good comedy. Just, you don't need to go in knowing it's a... Uh, a uh, superhero movie. Have I played World of Warcraft? I played it for about half hour and decided, no, this game isn't for me. 
Uh, I've not gone back to it since. Of the accountant. Yeah, the accountant... I definitely have watched. Is that, um... Oh. I've forgotten the actor's name. The guy who was the, uh, the Batman in some of the movies. Can't believe I've forgotten his name. But the accountant, yeah, I thought he was alright from memory. What is that? <laughs> is he uh, frozen? Flame. Go on, heat him up a bit. He's got the spell stone. Interesting. Right, so... It can't be a case of just going in for an attack. Flame. Unless maybe I need to direct him to uh, where the fire's coming out of the ground. Just lay an egg. I was like, Am I dead? But there was no game over screen, so, uh, all good. Oh, this is the uh, the nasty part. Okay, clearly that is not going to work. Ah, uh, there, there is... Uh, honestly, there are superhero movies that are decent as movies. Not 
I, th I think the quality of movies generally has, has gotten better over the years. Okay, well, it doesn't look like really he's getting uh, affected. Com yeah, comedy, you can never go too wrong with a good comedy. I always, I kind of like watching some of the old, like, you know, movies you watch as kids as well, because for me at least, it always brings back good memories. I mean, thankfully, a, a lot of, like, the, um, a lot of the movies I've watched, they're still quite rewatchable, I'd say. This guy is annoying. Why isn't he dying? Quite clearly does not work. <clears throat> oh really, you're gonna stop playing that again, Lance? Any reason why? Just fancy replaying it? Maybe one day I will tackle the Master Quest. Rather than just, you know, normally replaying it. Anyone got any ideas? Maybe uh, Slippy does. Hi, Fox. It's Slippy. Seems like you need some help. Give him a few hits. See what happens. Yeah, we've been doing that, Slippy. He will not let me get any closer to him.
Hey Eric, welcome. SV no identity, welcome, how you doing? Uh, yeah, we're trying we're trying to get this thing killed. <laughs> well whatever it is, some kind of dragon or It looks like an, a face hugger. But I am uh, not able to hit his throat. And I mean, if Tricky is supposed to be doing something here, well, I don't know what. Uh, you, you're not doing too much, just chill and taking care of your new brother. Your bro- sorry, your brother's nephew. Awesome. Well, thanks for stopping by the stream anyway. Uh, I'm doing good. I'm doing good, though. I would love to be able to uh, somehow figure out how to defeat this guy, though. If you've got any ideas, if anyone's got any ideas, let me know. It really cannot be this difficult. Right, let's reevaluate the situation now. So, what have I actually got that could be useful? Without dying. Yeah, so we've only got the fire bars blaster. Fuel cells, PDA, scarabs. You've got no idea on this game, fair enough. Where, oh, okay. When air goes into his chest, hit it with your staff at that point. Right. If he lets me get closer. Close enough to him. It's, it literally is like a, a Zelda version of Star Fox. Maybe like a light version. Nothing too crazy, but still, still alright. so dead. <laughs> oh, with the fire. Right, so I, I was kind of doing what I was supposed to be doing. So I need to use the fire staff at his throat. When he lets me. Again, sure. Yeah, I've, I've got inside of him before. You get spat back out, so uh, we'll try it again. It's just I was firing with the staff, and it didn't seem to do anything when he opened that that uh, part of his mouth open. Not doing it. 
Look at this! Flame! He's got the spell stone! Well, the first bit, that's not too bad. We just need to, like, drag him over a bit of fire and then hit his tail. That's not a problem. It was just that next bit. Right. Get him here. Desperately need health, though. <laughs> what? Why? I thought they were going to be health. That's why I went for them. Take three. Flame. Just walked into stomach acid. Well, yeah. Stone. I thought maybe I could collect something. Wouldn't be the first time I've collected something weird in this game. Is this the bo first boss fight? Quite possibly. I don't think there's been any major fights. This is definitely like the first dungeon or temple or whatever you want to call it. Well, there's only four temples going by what the game said. So I don't know if each temple was a, a boss fight or, or what. It would make sense, I guess. Although I do find it kind of weird that all of the maps are available to buy from the get-go.
Gowdon, sorry. One of those hit, maybe. Surely, surely one of those here. That definitely hit. YouTube, uh, YouTube's been doing some weird stuff lately. Well, it, it went down, didn't it, over the weekend as well. Well, I think that was the internet in general, but... The fact that Fox gets eaten twice, like, didn't learn your lesson the first time. Stab it, come on. I am so happy that is over with. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. I, I just don't think it was given a very good, like... Oh, you must forgive your father. You know, feedback you that you were doing damage that way. ...tribe against scales instead of fighting each other. I will, Fox. Because of you, my people shall no longer live as slaves. Okay, we'll see you soon. We gotta take this spellstone back to the planet. Cool. Sumik, 
Yeah, no worries. You take care. I, to be fair, I will be uh, finishing up quite soon anyway. We'll go back to the main planet. Uh, there's a few things I probably won't be doing there. Yeah, so the thing is, I'm using an emulator to play this, so I've got a, a hard, sorry, I've got a widescreen act type thing going on, but some of the, uh, oh, hang on. Billy, um, I've got the game. I played it. I never completed it. It was a bit of a weird one with the on-foot sections, I found. So, I, I guess, in the grand scheme of things, Star Fox Assault is probably their last, you know... Big Star Fox, decent game. And that was a while ago. Yeah, the Wii U one I've got. I forgot what, what that one's called, but... I don't know. I didn't really enjoy the, the two, t you know, touch screen and the TV screen thing. I didn't get on with that, and uh, they released like a, a DS one, Star Fox Command, which was all right. It, it was just nothing special. Yes, you Star Fox Zero. Us. Yeah. Those horrible shark claws put out our lovely beacons, and it gets too dark at night. We'd be scared of the dark. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, I just love the accents. I'll see what I can do. Don't forget about the spell Oh, yeah, we got to go to Force Point Temple. Force Point Temple. Which is where exactly? Hi, Fox. It's Slippy. Seems like you need some help. Come by. I know you can go to the big rock creature. And um he takes you to a couple of places. Wait for me. Come on, Tricky. You got this. You ain't got this. What was that? That was a poor excuse of uh, trying to light that. Um, okay, we need weeds or something. Keep the actual fire alight. Uh, Slayerson just commented on how Tricky sounds like moss, really. I, d I don't see that <laughs> relation. <laughs> Would 
Would you be able to get this game on the Nintendo eShop? No. The only way you can do... There's two ways. Uh, you can get a GameCube with it. Easy way. Alternatively, you can run an emulator. <laughs> Excuse me. One second. I mean, if you run an emulator, you really should have the original game. Um, but I mean, this game is, what, 20 years old? It's the only way... No, no one's going to be making money out of it if you use an emulator. Um, but no one's making money out of it anyway, because you can't buy it anymore. Where's my mask? Uh, probably in the car. Uh, well, if you catch the virus, the sharp it's your own fault for watching the this stream. The tribe is doomed. <laughs> the tribe is doomed, all because it's gone dark. Okay. I'll go chat to this guy, but I'm not sure if I should be at the minute. You cannot go to Krizoa Palace until you have collected a Krizoa spirit. Sorry, sir. I'm backing out. I'm backing out and going. There's nothing here for, uh, nothing for me here. Look at that, sleeping on the job. Look at him. If I, if I have to stay up 24 hours a day, or whatever this time is on this planet he should be uh he should be wide awake like i am i don't know what i'm doing <laughs> uh we need to get some weeds maybe the shop will sell some uh we've still got the fire thing as well shard I've got no idea what the high def display is. Uh, Tricky's ball, I don't think I need. Snowhorn artifact, 130, no. Cake claw. Loads of maps. No weeds. Uh, does this game have young fox and... No, you just play as... I guess, adult fox. The entire time. L like I say, I don't know. I've not completed it, but... I'm pretty sure you don't have young and old link, uh, uh, foxes. Should we give it a go? I will then throw them into this cave, and you have to collect them within my time limit. I will go with five. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see what happens here. Are you ready? Oh, the weeds are on the trees. Cool. <laughs> Not so good this time, eh? I'll keep what you didn't collect. I got robbed. No, I, I probably should have uh, actually read what he said. So it looks like there's two different types of scarabs. Choose how many scarabs you wish to gamble. 
I will then throw them into this cave. Hey, you milk duds. There's a, there's a tree outside to the left of the shop that you get the weeds for. Put them into the pedestal. Uh, yeah, that's cool. I, I thought it was something like that. Are you ready? I will uh, do that in a minute. <laughs> I, I'm i giving up. I'm rubbish. I'll keep what you didn't I didn't even get a chance to do anything. <laughs> I can't believe he just ripped me off. Oh, it, it, it was. When it come out, it was a pretty... Uh... Funny enough, it was more down... Everyone was talking about the fur shading. It doesn't actually stand out as much, though. Maybe it's down to the emulator, I don't know. But everyone was all about the fur shading. It looks amazing. <laughs> okay. That was random. I think half the time, Tricky sounds like Woody Woodpecker. With his stupid little ha ha ha. So, left, left of the shop would be this way. But that's the only tree here, so... Because of course, hitting a hitting a bush with a, a staff. Well, I guess it would put the fire out. In a way, I would have thought the water would be a a better option, but. Although you've got to feel sorry for Fox, I mean, walking into a fire when you're covered in fur from, you know, foot to, to head. Not great, right. Do your thing. I'm hungry. <laughs> he's, he's always just hungry. Spend half the time just feeding him. <clears throat> yeah, it, yeah. The, anything graphical glitch, it's down to running in widescreen. So, um, I can't do much unless I want to play it in four by three, which I prefer not to do. So we had one round the back here. Huh? 
Hey Matthew, it was indeed the, the final game made by Rare. Is there any more? I, I'm pretty sure that I've only come across two. I mean, there's only one other place I can think of, but... I don't think there is any though. <laughs> You're too kind guys, even if that isn't true. <laughs> no, there's nothing, no beacons. Well, look, I, I've given you your light back. You've got nothing to complain about. What am I supposed to be doing? Hi, Fox. It's Slippy. Seems like you need yeah, to so there is another one around somewhere. Maybe up here or... Oh, it's down behind the ship. Cool. I yeah, there's some good games there. I played them all, Harish. It's down in the area that's behind the ship. What do you mean this way? Here we go. Flame. Ah, uh, Sun Hill. Beacons mean so much to my tribe. Please take this. I believe it will help you on your quest. <laughs> the moon pass K. Well, this is the thing. I mean, generally, I I never really... In, I always love playing long games, story-driven games. And then when I started doing my channel, I moved over to doing more short games that anyone can come to the stream and not feel like they've missed something out like a, a story game would be. But over time, that does get a little bit, like, samely. So um, there's been times on the channel where I've... I switched to doing like horror games for about four months solid, but yeah, then I went back. I think it's definitely nice to change whatever games up you're playing a bit. If you're just constantly playing one genre of games, it gets boring quick. I, it's, it's highly unlikely I'm gonna get um Hi Fox, it's Slip. Come back when you need me. Slippy, over and out. <laughs> okay, so I, I need to get back on the ship. Um 
Pikmin, he just... Nah, I've never been a big Pikmin fan, Lance. I don't know what it is about that game, but... I remember with the first game, it, I, I instantly disliked it because of the time limit. You had like 30 days to do everything. I did wonder that. Falco isn't in the game at all, is he? It's not even on the box art. But then again, he could turn up in the game later, so uh, no spoilers. <laughs> I know we're talking about a game that is nearly 20 years old, but still. Yeah, Sun Hill, Lance, is one of my favourites. Like, Silent Hill, Resident Evil... They were they were great games, but unfortunately. Are we going back here? I think so. No? The Force Point Temple. Peppy has indicated that it's located beyond Moon Mountain Pass. Ah, uh, okay. We haven't we haven't left the planet. Uh, yeah, we're, it's actually in Fawntown Hollow. What? Why we've got to do this again? I haven't left. Yeah, honestly, one of the reasons why I originally stopped doing horror games, though, is for the fact that most of them are 18. Every video I was doing on YouTube was getting, like, censored. Or copyright claims, something like that. And also, um, playing a horror game while you've got lights beaming at you, it's very difficult. Like, horror games are best played in the dark, concentrating on the game. Yeah, it, I, I just don't think it works as well streaming, but yeah. Yeah, we're going to finish very soon. Let me just try and get to the moon pass. Yeah, I don't know. Um, Leon's not around for a, a raid, but I might have one or two people in my list. So I think the moon pass was down there. It was just a weird name, Moon Pass. I was thinking, surely that's like a planet or... But no. Game over. Oh, okay, Matthew. Yes, it's fine. I, it is a bit weird. I think the fact that this wasn't originally a Star Fox game, though, maybe Falco just didn't fit in. Maybe, like, Peppy and Slippy, they took over existing characters, but Falco... 
you know, didn't really, uh, they couldn't swap him in for a different character. the way I come. <laughs> I think it was. Whoops. It kind of feels like I've just repeated what I... Yeah. So to the left. Let's go this way. Yeah, get, get your game sorted first, Matthew, and then we'll talk, yeah? Because believe me, I've made games in the past. They're not easy to make. This, this game sure loves barrels. <laughs> it's like, yeah, let's, let's keep chucking in Donkey Kong references. Talking of Donkey Kong, uh, Wayne is going to be joining me tomorrow. We're going to be playing Donkey Kong Country 3. I've never played it. Well, i played a little bit. I probably will be awful with it, but we're going to give it a go. Uh, it probably will take weeks to finish, as it's probably only going to be on Thursday, uh, Tuesdays. And, you know... Indeed, just chuck in some barrels. It works. It's cheap. I'm not doing it. He does have a bit of an attitude problem sometimes. Why is he not doing it? I fed him. Surely. Surely he's got to be a... Uh, willing to help me out. <laughs> no. Okay. It's not going to help me out. Well, I'll leave him alone. I told him to stay.
I'm stuck. Right, is he gonna help? No. Yeah, it can be a bit like that. It's kind of like, I would hate to be working on a game that I had no interest in. Like, you know, you're a big part of a big company like Activision or um, uh, Ubisoft. I think... Yeah, it's... Yeah, it's got to be something you enjoy doing, otherwise what's the point? You're making, like, a game that you have got no interest in. I'd go and join up a different, uh, game studio. Hey, Toon Girl. The best game of 2002. I can't even remember what other games come out in 2002. But I, I do agree. It is a pretty decent game. Thank you for the follow as well. <laughs> Hope you're doing well. We are going to wrap things up pretty soon, but I'm hoping to be back on Wednesday, depending on how uh, work goes. What other games come out in 2002? I'm really intrigued now. Wind Waker, I think Wind Waker and Mario Sunshine both come out that year. What's that? Grandia come out in 2002. Never played it. I mean, one thing I, I like compared to, um, to Zelda is... Generally, you don't really get stuck. Ocarina of Time wasn't too bad, but this definitely gives you way more tips than uh, Ocarina. Ah, oh, cool. I've been wanting one of those guys for a while, so they're the ones who bring me back to life if I die. So we've got stuff going on here. We've got more barrels, guys. <laughs> Just what you always wanted. Barrels. Oh yeah, of course it was, Jessica. Yeah, Metroid Prime 2. Sorry, yeah, the original Metroid Prime. Wow, that was 2002. I will... Yeah, that was actually a really good game, to be fair. Like a really good game. Again, another game I, I didn't complete, but I got like 90% of the way through it. I have a tendency of just giving up games when I'm like halfway through it. Don't know why. Just probably another game come out, and I was like, I'll come back to Metroid Prime eventually. Never did. Apparently they're going to remaster him on the Switch, but... Again, who knows if that's real. Oh, they did great. I, I mean, I remember with Metroid Prime, P 
people were like, oh no, it's not 2D. It's it's never going to work. It's going to be terrible. How can you do Metroid in 3, 3D? Or third, third person, uh, sorry, first person. But it actually turned out perfect, pretty much. Yeah, Jessica, we were talking about that. Yeah. I honestly, I, I wish... I wish it did come out as Dinosaur Planet. I don't think there's a problem with it. You know, more people probably played the game because it was based around Star Fox. However... It would have been cool to have the original, yeah, theme of Dinosaur Planet. Right, so we've got two colours on the doors. I don't know if I can do anything with them. Doesn't look it. Only he who lights the orbs of the Krizoa may pass. Now, after playing Zelda for so long, I'm wondering if I have to uh, fire through on the correct colour. Oh, me Melee? Yeah, that was earlier on. 2001, yeah. But the thing is, you know, to everyone, you know, they've got preferences. To people that didn't like fighting games, Melee wasn't the best game of 2001, and, you know, I'm sure in theory there were loads of games every year, a load of decent ones are released, but unless they appeal to you. Jeez, this guy is a little bit, uh, more difficult. Only a little bit. I just hit Tricky. My bad. Sorry, Tricky. I'll get you some uh, mushrooms. Yeah, with GTA, I, I really just... I always started playing the game, right? As, um... You know, I was doing part of the story. And then after like five hours, I'm like, you know what? It's much more fun just causing havoc. You know, trying to get all of the cops after you and just smashing into anything you can find. They're the fun bits, the sandbox bits. Only he that dims the flames. Uh, GTA 3 is the only one you ever finish. Too much nothing for me. Can only run over people for so long. Yeah, that's probably the point when I, I stop playing though. Like, I'd give up by that point.
Hence why I've never finished a GTA game. Never. Ah, oh, come on. I thought this was just returning it. I didn't expect there to be a big, like, fortress or castle, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, I did eat. I've got a load of leftovers, so what I'm going to do is, as soon as I've finished, go and put the oven on, cook up some chicken, and, um, probably find something quick to watch, because, yeah, back at work properly tomorrow, so won't be a late one. Uh, I've not played it, Jessica, right? However, I I certainly know of quite a few people who have played it. They said it was enjoyable, but it gets really annoying quick. Mainly how the, the map works. Traversing the map. But yeah, it, it looks fun. It's uh, definitely like a bit of a, a Metroidvania from what I've seen. Come on, let's get a new upgrade. What's it going to be? You have collected the Ice Blast. Use it to douse flames and freeze the bad guys. I love when they call them the bad guys. <laughs> uh, oh, we're still not done here. I thought that would be it. Uh, maybe let's head back a second. Keyboard. I've never heard of keyboard. Right, so I think I think there was something about dousing the flames. We'll give it a few more minutes. If it looks like it's going to take too long, then uh, I'll leave it to next time. Ice to see you. So that's really bad. Uh, what did you think of Crystal at the the start of the game? Um, in what way? <laughs> she uh, had a good introduction, I guess. Uh, I do wonder if she's going to become playable again. I don't think I need to be doing the, the blue flames. I could be wrong, though. We'll try with the reds. Oh, F-Zero GX. Great game. Way too difficult. <laughs> like, stupidly difficult. Especially if you're trying to do the story mode. No chance. Hi, Fox. A 
I've been studying the ancient records of this planet, and you might be interested to hear this. This temple has been built on a force point, a point where pure magical energy is forced up from within the core of the planet. This energy is so powerful that it continually <laughs> attempts to break the planet apart. To stop this, the ancient Chrysoa placed two spell stones inside the temple to absorb the energy. When General Scales removed the stones, the planet began to fall apart. By returning the spell stones back to the temple, you will bring the planet together once more. Peppy out. Peppy out. Right, so let's go and deposit one of the stones. Was that it? It was a bit anticlimactic. Sorry, Fox. How do we get out of here, then? Oh, okay, you can't jump on stuff, right. Just what I wanted, the bat to show up as well. Uh... Guys, we are going to... I think it's probably best we finish here. Uh, do we want to use it? No. Do you want to save? Yes. So where's that going to put me back? That's fine. Yeah, we better leave it there for the minute. So like I said, guys, I will be back tomorrow with uh, Wayne. We're going to be doing Donkey Kong Country 3, making a start on that. Uh, I'm hoping to be back Wednesday, continue with this. Um, I don't know if we have got someone on YouTube to raid. Otherwise, I think we might just leave it. You know what, guys? We're going to go and raid... Oh. Mr. Leon. Well, who have you got? Uh, what is Lightning playing? Well, I, I was going to say uh, Legend of... We've got Oracle of Seasons being played. But... By uh, Sunrise. But go for Lightning. That's absolutely fine. We've got it there. Take it easy, everyone. Thank you for watching. You take care. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow. See you later. Don't forget to hit that like button. You know it's right. See you all later. Bye.